Hi, my name is Christian Kiss. I'm an instrument specialist with Thermo Fisher, and today I'd like to talk about some of our products that we sell for doing microplate readings and to show that uh, the capabilities of this instrument can provide precise results across a large dynamic range and also to complete a variety of assays under a similar technique. So today, to illustrate the capabilities of the Multi-Scan Go, what we want to do is look at three different types of protein concentration assays. These are a direct protein 280 assay. The basic principle of this is that amino acids uh, will absorb light at a wavelength of 280 nanometers. The 660 protein assay works on a proprietary dimetal complex that binds to proteins under acidic conditions. And this complex will turn your solution green, which of course can be measured uh, in absorbance. And then finally, the BCA protein assay, which basically works on the principle of reducing copper, and the proteins provide the ions to do this. And this, of course, causes color changes, which again can be measured with absorption. So with the three different assays, with the direct protein, what we took are two different types of proteins, BSA and BGG, and we did a series of dilutions with eight dilutions each in duplicate. Uh, these were plated across a variety of plates in 96 and 384 format and also at different volumes. So what we want to do is demonstrate the range of uh, capabilities again. Uh, with the BCA protein assay and the Pure 660, we created standard curves as well as some samples and again created eight dilution series of each in duplicate. These were all measured on the uh, Multiscan Go to see what kind of results that we get. With the results, uh, this is what we want to focus on. Um, if you see in the first graph on the left, we have the uh, BSA protein. What you can see is that all of the lines are very linear and they lay right on top of each other. This shows that regardless of the type of plate used as well as the concentration or the volume rather of each of those samples, you get very linear results uh, on your assay. Um, with the uh, other protein, the BGG, you get similar types of results. Really the only variation you get is going to be on the low end of the concentration, which is inherent variability anyway. But for the majority of the assay, you can see that it's very linear and you get great results. Uh, for the BCA and Pier 660 protein assay, you can see that the standard curves were constructed just as well across the dynamic range of the assay. So we were able to accomplish this. So what we're able to see is that for each of the standards that were compared to the standard curves, uh, we were able to look at the theoretical concentration of what we we're supposed to get and comparing that back to the standard curves to see how accurate the results are. And if we go across the rows, we can see that the results are actually fairly close to the theoretical that we're supposed to get. So as you can see, the Multiscan Go is an instrument capable of giving you absorbance reading that are very accurate and precise. You can do a wide variety of assays under a similar technique and get similar results. Thank you for your attention, and if you'd like more information, you can contact us at thermoscientific.com.